Hey guys, and welcome back to Silent Hill 3. Titan here, of course. When we last left off, we fought a boss, and unfortunately, Harry Mason, the hero of the first game, has been murdered by, supposedly, our mother's order. And we have this deceptively beautifully dark somber music playing which is very typical of Silent Hill one of um, one of Silent Hill's strongest uh, aspects is uh, its sound design and its soundtrack and uh, this game is no no exception so let's continue our friend Douglas <laughs> friends a strong term our acquaintance Douglas is waiting for us outside in the car and we're about to go to Silent Hill so without any further procrastination, let's go to Silent Hill. I just met some guy named Vincent. Vincent? He's a friend of yours, right? Friend's a strong sure. term. He said when we get to Silent Hill to look for a guy named Leonard. And he gave me this map. What do you want to do? We can't trust him, but we've got no other choice. I guess Here, we don't have a choice. What's this? Your father was holding it. Simple works to my daughter. Hmm. It started raining. Are you sleeping? I'm awake. Cold? What's the deal with Silent Hill, anyway? It used to be a nice, quiet little town. But now... You've been there? Once. On a missing persons case. Oh. Never did find him. But I'll tell you, that's one screwed up town. Aye. My line of work... You hear a lot of nasty rumors. I was born and raised there. Sorry. I didn't mean to offend you. No offense taken. Not like today. Be a lawsuit. Everybody's offended about everything. Anyway, I thought you grew up in Portland. Wrong. Feeling sick? That daddy's My been murdered. Like the worst hangover ever. Maybe your car sick. No. I'm just trying to remember. My childhood. Something terrible happened in Silent Hill 17 years ago. A woman named Dahlia. She tried to summon the ancient god of the town. She offered up her very own daughter. Hmm. It's crazy. Maybe so, but it worked. The girl gave birth to a god. Huh? You see. That girl had special powers. Powers? Her classmates called her a witch. She could make things happen with her mind. She could kill people just by wishing for it. That's pretty rad. In the end, that god was killed by a single person. 
my father, Harry Mason. See? Your dad's a badass. God slayer. Is it much of God if he <clears throat> killed by a human being? Must have been a hell of a human being. And yes, he was. I think Claudia's trying to do the same thing again. And I've been chosen as the sacrifice. You've got some kind of power here, too. After the god was killed, the girl reappeared. Mm. She was holding a baby in her arms. Before she died, she gave the baby to my father. Of course, yes. I need he to look me just like I was his very own daughter. Even though he didn't know who or what I was. Yeah, I remember. It was so sudden. So Harry's daughter died. I think. Oh, it's been so long since I played I the first had one. A chance to tell you, to tell you how happy you made me. Man, that is heavy. Yeah, I, I um. I forgot about that. What was Harry's daughter called? I need to look that up. What hey, Cortana. What was the name of Harry Mason's daughter? Somebody head for that Leonard guy's house. You check out the hospital. Got the map, right? Yeah. It was Cheryl. Yes. Gonna be okay and the cop was Sybil. Ah. Not a child, you know. Are you sure it's not you who's afraid to be alone? <sighs> You're right. Mm. I am afraid. I'm Interesting. Something years old. I've never seen. Very interesting. <laughs> More like a nightmare, I'd say. <sighs> yeah. I don't want to wake up and have a smoke already. <laughs> Meet me back here when you finish looking around the hospital. Okay? Roger. I thought Heather didn't seem right. I, I thought it was um, Cheryl. Of course. So many things have just suddenly clicked for me. This has got to be a coincidence. But why would you think that? But still, it's pretty weird. Who could have done this? Silent Hill's a pretty strange place. Hmm. Okay, so we're going to the hospital. Fantastic. Um, oh, God, it's good to be back. Mm, I can still smell the burning coals from the mine. Uh, well, all right then. Uh, I guess there was no trouble getting a hotel. That's the bathroom. I don't need to use it right now. Uh, I wasn't asking if you needed to use it. I was merely curious if there's any supplies held within. Uh, I also quite like the fact there's a notepad there. Shame we can't use it. Right, let's explore Silent Hill. Let's do it together, guys. Nobody here but me and you. Oh, 
man, yes, yes, we are back. Fuck yeah, back in Silent Hill. So 106 is where we're staying. Can we not check any of the others? No, I guess not. Alright, well, let's start trying to explore anyway. At least uh, Heather's kind of coming around to Doug now. Doug's a pretty cool character. I like the guy. He's strange, but <laughs> it's Silent Hill. You know. Uh, now, before we leave, let's make sure we thoroughly explored. At least the best we can. Can we not act activate our torch? I guess not. But we can go upstairs. Or, you know, maybe not. Alright, well, I guess we can't go upstairs. Well, alrighty then. I guess there's only one real way to go. Let's go to Silent Hill. Well, we're already in Silent Hill, but let's go and explore. Silent Hill. Parking. Rosewater Park. Mm. This is where Dad found himself so many years ago. Can we go into the... Oh, we've got contact. Can't go into the park there. And we do have hostiles. We've got hostiles. Oh, dude, it would be so cool if we could go to... Uh, Silent Hill, um, the park. That'd be fucking rad right about now. Actually, let's remove the armor for now. I know it gives us an extra bit of protection, but I would like the mobility, to be honest. I don't need to go th there. That's the wrong place to be. That's kind of incredibly strange phrasing, but whatever's you. Okay, so can we go to Blue Creek Apartments? Oh, it's all here, it's all here. Okay. I'm guessing it's not going to let us go anywhere apart from the hospital. Yeah. Yeah, that looks to be accurate. To the hospital then, my friends. Yep. We got Pete's Bolarama, Tax and Gas, Heaven's Night. Oh, please say we can go to some of these places. Ooh. Whoa! Hey! Now, as much fun as it would be to fight you guys, there really isn't any point, I don't think. Although they're making a very different sound. Yeah, of course, singing us the song of their people. And it's a song, our health is fine, and it's a song that we don't need to hear. So I wonder if we're going to find any interesting characters down here. My guess would be yes. But I've been wrong before. Oh, and I'll be wrong again. Can't go through there or there, but we've got those weird spinny bastards. Really don't want to fuck with them. Piss off. Nothing there or there, so there's nothing at the gas station. Right up here. I really am guessing there's going to be nothing to find, which is a shame. Of course, in the first Silent Hill, there's uh, items and shit scattered everywhere. Really? It's not even telling us that we can't go into these places. Shut up. Hmm. 
as I walk through the shadow. Ooh. Heavenly night. It would be nice if we can go in there. This is definitely the Valley of the Damned right now. Come on, give me something. Oh. Anything. Oh, please say we can go up here. Yeah, we can. Excellent. <sighs> Fucking badass. Paradise. Oh, shotgun shells. Yes, now we can put our torch on. Not sure why we can put our torch on before, but whatever's you. Health. Lovely. And beef jerky. Eh. Cool, I guess. Anything else? Ooh. It's a tourism pamphlet. I had forgotten it. But it's true. Silent Hill was originally a resort town. <laughs> Welcome to Silent Hill. Silent Hill, a quiet little lakeside resort town. We're happy to have you. Take some time out and enjoy your busy of your busy schedules and enjoy a nice restful vacation here. Row after row of quaint old houses, a gorgeous mountain landscape, and a lake which shows different sides of its beauty with the passing of the day, from sunrise to late afternoons to sunsets. Silent Hill will move you and fill you with a feeling of deep peace. I hope your time here will be pleasant and your memories will last forever. Editor, Roger Woodmark. Well, I'm sure the memories will last a lifetime. Of that I have no doubt. Lock is fucked. If we not get up and get a jiggy on? Nope. Well, I got a medikit and um, some shells. So that's quite productive. Hmm. Excellent. Can we get Can we go down that back alley? Let's have a look, shall we? You know, for science. Always for science. We needed the shells because we have soddle handgun rounds. And we definitely could use the med kit. Looks like there's nothing here. It's these, oh man, you just have to explore everywhere. Shame about the dogs. I suppose really what we could do, if we were thinking with our brains, is put some beef jerky down, but we don't really need to. Damn it, there should be supplies here. Should be supplies everywhere. Oh, evening. Wow, there's lots of boxes of crap. Okay, not bad, Heather. Remember your training and you will make it back alive. Maybe. I make no promises, of course. Don't make a girl a promise if you know you can't keep it. So we've got 14 shells. We ain't, we've got four, okay, we're actually doing alright for health, to be honest. Well, I say we're doing alright. I'd prefer a couple of health drinks, but... What can ye do? The door is shut. Well, that's shit. What if I wanted to go bowling? Huh? Huh? Who would go bowling at a time like this? Titan, of course. It'd be rude not to. I can't actually see anything there. I wish I would stop pushing the wrong button. Must be annoying you guys, because it's annoying me. Okay. Don't need to go here now. So I guess the only place we can go then is the hospital. Which is fine. You know. So we can't go down there, sadly. 
Run, Heather! Run! Shut up! Honestly. Anybody would think you're important. Ah, oh, hang on. I think we've, we've gone wrong here. We are lost in Silent Hill. I can think of worse places to be lost. Actually, can I? What would be worse? To be lost in Raccoon City or Silent Hill? Well, at least in Silent Hill, if you get moided or killed, it, you know, it's going to be over pretty quick. In theory, of course. Everything in theory. In, uh, in Raccoon City, there's a lot worse things than a couple of monsters walking around. You've got the virus and all that shit to worry about being used in horrifying experiments. Oh, hey, pal. Yeah, so personally, I would rather go to uh, Silent Hill. But then, if you're in uh, Resident Evil's universe, the characters are more interesting. I think, you know. It's just my opinion. Here we are. Ooh, what the fuck is that sound? Sounds like s someone's getting his uh, jollies on. Right, let's get in there. Ready for war. Get your war face on. Oh, oh, oh. Evening. Oh, shit. The nurses. Oh, the nurses. We can't stunlock them. I don't think. Damn. Ouch. How do we block? There must be a way of... Ah. Is that a block? Okay, we're getting our asses kicked here. We need to do some stuff for science. Yeah, those nurses are quite cool. Right, she's dead. Right. Okay, so we can block with X. Got ya. We're gonna need that. That, ladies and gentlemen, is as close as it gets. But we're really low on health, so blocking. I don't know if blocking like mitigates all damage, or just a portion of it. Uh, I guess we're gonna... Ooh! Sweet mummy. There are a bunch of different types of medicines, but none of it looks useful. I guess I should leave it all alone. Take it! Take it all! Ooh, save point. Nothing there. We could use some maps, really. Some maps would be a wonderful. She's looking at shit, but she ain't fiddling with anything. Ah. Excellent. I got the hospital map. Yes, we did. Hmm. Oh, let's check out the pharmacy. If we can. That the pharmacy? Yes. Ugh. Ugh. Ooh. We have a winner. There must have been kids here too then. I played with dolls like this when I was a child too. It really takes me back. That's fantastic, Heather, but can we read the book? Looks like a diary. This day has finally come. That's right. The day when you and I will meet. I was always thinking of you here in this gloomy cell. I never even knew your name or face until today. But now I know. Now I know you're the one I've been waiting for. And haven't you been waiting for me too? 
That's why you came to rescue me. Oh, how I love you, Heather. What? And I want to give you my prize doll. I made it to commemorate our meeting. The start of this everlasting love. Uh oh. Ah, I can already see your smiling face. Stanley Coleman. <gasps> Coleman. Hey, Cortana. Stanley Coleman, Silent Hill. Here's what I found. Ooh. Okay. So that's the guy from the first. Was it the first game or the second game? I need to do some more research. Wasn't he the one? He was like a pedophile. Or something. He's just brought up a whole wall of text, and I do want to read it, but. I don't want to read it. Whilst we only have a few minutes left. Lock is broken. Lock is broken. Yeah, I'm sure he was like a pedophile or something. Or like a kiddie fiddler or some shit. Well, that is a pedophile. But I can't remember. Or, or some kind of murderer or something. I know that name. I'm sure I do. There's a memo posted on the refrigerator. Food only. Do not store drugs. I wonder if it's okay to store health drinks in here. I guess it is. Oh, yes. That's something we haven't had in a good little while. Medical records or something for this Leonard guy. Could this be the same Leonard that Vincent was talking about? Room S12. Presenting mild audiovisual hallucinations, emotional instability, obsessive ideas, suspect mild schizophrenia. Will continue observation. Basically calm and cooperative, cooperative with a strong sense of justice. However, according to reports, becomes very violent when overexcited. The other one is for Stanley Coleman. This is the guy that wrote that sick diary. Room S07. Usually passive and cowardly. Also egotistical. Uh oh. Psychopathic then? Sometimes shows an axe on obsessive attachments to a particular woman. That, yeah. This has caused violent accidents. Use caution. Oh dear, Heather. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Well, I shall endeavour to keep you safe. No promises, of course. Lock is broken. Lock is broken. Lock is broken. Of course they all are. Cafeteria? Nope. Nope. Bloody hell. All these doors are locked. Ooh, the kitchen. Let's go grab us some eats. Or not. Maybe. Nope. No eats for us. Lock is broken. Ah, but we can use the elevator. Which is good to know. But of course we're not going to do that. God damn it. Open the doors, please. Right. Now nah, we are basically out of time now. Uh, so back into the reception. And there's a document room there that I don't think we went into. Where is it? So. There's the save room. Which one's the document room? This way. Ah, well. 
that serves uh, that solves that problem. Right. Anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it here. Thank you very much for watching. When we come back, we are going to continue exploring the hospital. And well, 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 Heather seems to be having uh, a seriously uh, bad time with creepy men. In fact, they've all kind of been creepy men. Yeah. Even Douglas, he started off pretty weird. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Anyway guys, thank you very much for watching. When we come back, more exploration. Till then.